Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about the Slit Mouth Woman. Before I get into the urban legend of the slit-mouthed woman, I want to talk about what she actually is. So she is considered an onryo. If you don't know what an onryo is, it is a negative spirit. There are several pieces of media that you can go and watch, such as, well, the movie Carved, where she is the star, or you can watch The Grudge or The Ring. So the characteristics of the slit mouth woman is that she has a Glasgow smile. An example of this is when Scottish gangsters would carve a smile into their victims. On top of the smile that is carved into her mouth, she's usually wearing a trench coat. Sometimes it's red or she'll be carrying a sickle or a large pair of scissors. She also walks around with a mask covering her famous smile. This urban legend goes back to the Edo period where there was a beautiful vain woman who was married to a samurai. Her husband had found out that she had cheated on him and then carved a smile into her mouth. While he carved a smile into her face, he asked her, who will think you are pretty now? A little harsh, in my opinion, to carve a smile into someone's face because they cheated on you. Some people have weird punishments for others. So let's go from the Edo period to 1978, where, I think it was 1978. Man, this urban legend is everywhere. In 1979, a rumor had started in the Nagasaki prefecture, where a local newspaper wrote about the slit mouth woman supposedly being seen in an older woman's garden. Now after this local newspaper had printed this story, it really took off like wildfire. Eventually this story about the slit mouth woman being seen in the garden made its way through the entire country of Japan. A local newspaper printed the story and then amongst the children in that area, it had caused a mild panic. But when it eventually went out into Japan, or throughout Japan, it started causing more of a panic. So much so that children were actually being escorted home at night after school. A historian and manga author Shiguru Mizuki eventually put her into the Yogai Encyclopedia, which really solidified her position. Now, I found this confusing because supposedly around 2007, a coroner had noticed some cases surrounding, I guess, the original legend of the slit mouthed woman and that she was seen around scenes of a crime of children being murdered at night. Now, there wasn't too many details when it came to this particular bit of information, but I did find it particularly creepy that around the time I guess this legend was born that children were supposedly being murdered in the same fashion and they saw this woman around the scene of the crime. Oh, well, this did remind me of a movie called Carved, which is about the slip mouth woman and it touches on that urban legend. Now let's get into what makes the slip mouth woman so famous. If you see the slip mouth woman, she, like I said, she was usually wearing a mask has long black hair, usually wears a trench coat, and has a horribly disfigured face. Now, when she approaches you, she'll say this, am I pretty? And if you answer no, she'll cut your face open. If you answer yes, she'll take the mask off and say, am I pretty? And if you say yes, she'll carve a smile into your face. If you say no, she'll kill you. Now, it is a definite lose-lose situation. So supposedly, as the urban legend goes, is that if you say so-so, or if you ask her if you're pretty back, like if you go, well, do you think I'm pretty? She'll be taken aback, giving you the chance to run away 
from her murderous tendencies. If you were to say yes to both instances, say yes, I think you're pretty, take the mask off, yes, I think you're pretty, eventually she'll follow you to your home and then kill you. And I think this urban legend is kind of funny because there's just nothing, almost nothing you can do except kind of be narcissistic back to her going, am I pretty? You're just putting a mirror up in front of her. This story definitely reminded me a lot of the anime Paranoia Agent, where urban legends can spread and manifest into something very real, such as the psychological effects on humanity. For those who haven't seen Paranoia Agent, I definitely recommend checking that out. It is a psychological horror where, well, I don't want to give too much away, but it definitely reminded me of the slit mouthed woman where rumors can eventually become very real to people. If you want to see more of the slit mouth woman, you can always play Ghostwire Tokyo, which is a really good game that I recommend. And she is also in the webcomic Mob Psycho. Now, I've only seen the anime, I've never read the webcomic, but I can only imagine that it's good considering the anime is so well done. Now, if you ever see a woman come up to you and she asks you, am I pretty? I want to think twice about what you say to her. But don't take dating tips from me. It's a bad idea. I'm Mina Edwards, and this is Beyond the Known. And if you like what you saw here, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.